Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic Edition. And we are here in the Heron River still. And the reasons we are here is that we are attempting to catch as many of the unique specimens as we can and find their locations. And as we have discovered since uh, coming here, they've made quite a few changes to this particular map. Many of them are extremely great improvements. They have reduced the amount of cover in some areas, so you got to watch for that. But in the last episode, I finally was able to catch a unique smallmouth bass here, which I had never caught one here. I had only caught them at LaCroix Lake, Michigan. been trying to catch one for literally years, and I caught him. Got lucky, got lucky, and caught him. And that is what it is about. <laughs> I mean, I know that you used to say, well, it's the bait, it's the skill, it's the time of day. I think in many cases it's just luck. Random chance. But we at least know now where the best place to fish for them are and we can increase our odds at catching them. But for these particular species that we're going after today, that would be the crappie. I am trying to focus on getting a unique crappie and I am at this point I would be satisfied with either a white one or a black one. I don't care. I would love to get both, but odds of that is pretty, pretty slim. I do know that the best location for catching them is here at Woody Enchantment. This is the old fail-safe location, like everything on the planet is caught in this spot, it seems like. Anyway, we are going to go for bottom fishing, and we're going to go for lure fishing, because we're going to try to increase our odds in catching these guys. Uh, it seems like the best times to catch them are on cloudy days and sunny days during the peak periods cloudy days not really have much luck with it I have caught quite a few trophies on cloudy days but I never caught one unique and I still haven't caught a unique white one I've caught black only so and that's in the past now one of the things that changed recently is there used to be a plethora of cover here it was lily pads it was a big patch of them and it appears to no longer be there now just to make sure I'm gonna come over here and take a good look but yeah no it's still here but it's been reduced it looks like it's just been reduced to this little area here but it used to extend out a lot further than that guys uh, another thing that was changed is our little log bridge it's way over on that side of things I think it's over on this side you can now fish off of it and you can fish on the area behind it. You used to never be able to fish there. And I am going to try an episode to see what I can get there. I'm curious what lurks in that part of this particular river. But for now, we're going to see if we can't focus on these unique crappies. Or crappies in general. Now you will get a crappie here, without a doubt and I will tell you some of the best baits to use to catch them. Now one of the things as far as lures go, the nano spoons, they are extremely useful for catching them. Uh, the last time I caught black unique crappie, I caught them off a nano spoon, but I didn't catch it off this type. I caught it off of this one here, this color here actually. Now I don't know if I have a nano spoon that small in that color though this time not looking like I do so I may end up having to go back to the main menu to pick those up it looks like most of the stuff I have here I brought along with me to go after the smallmouth and I can probably put them back to be perfectly honest uh, the crappie will go for the mini cranks I just found out recently that's something else we can definitely give a try 
we might get lucky and get them with those. So we've got a few mini cranks here that we can give a try. Four of them to be exact. They also seem to go really well for any kind of nano spinner. So I think we got a few of those, if I'm not mistaken. If not, I'm going to have to pick more of those as well. Well, this 1 8 ounce might do all right. Uh, let's see. I don't think I have any more. What in the world's wrong with me? I did not bring them along. Well, and as far as live baits, let me go ahead and put this at 5 so you can see it better. As far as live baits, it doesn't list them, but you can't go wrong with leeches. They just really love the leeches. Leeches, red worms, wax worms, crickets, blood worms, and small minnows. All of those are really good for the crappie. Now I think I've already got most of these lined up. I've got those with the leeches. I've got wax worms on here. I've got blood worms on there. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw some small minnows on this one just so that we hit the whole gamut. And we're going to, we got two, number two hooks. They don't have huge mouths, so we're going to keep the hooks fairly small. And for the float rod, I believe I need to change that because I still have it set for other species. But we're going to go ahead and throw something on there. I don't know that we're going to be doing any float fishing, but just in case we do, we might as well be prepared and have the right size hooks. Number two, 40 inches is actually 60 these guys like to go a little bit deeper and just to make doubly sure I'm going to put leeches on there. I've had more luck with the leeches with these guys than anything else. So we have our stuff set up. We've got our rods out there or our rod pot out there. Now for the white crappie the white crappie I tend to catch on this side more often. You'll catch them over here You'll catch a mixture of the black and the white over here. But more often you will get black on this side. More often you will get white on this side. So we are going to try for the white to start off with. And I'm going to try to get as close to that cover as I can. They like cover. We are just, like I said, going into peak. I'm going to put minnows over here as well. I'm going to try to get real close to that that pond weed, I think is what it is. I think there used to be lily pads here too, but now it just seems to be pond weed. We're already getting a bite. And I'm betting you it's some kind of a crappie. Trophy white, there you go. Right off the bat, trophy white. That's a pretty decent looking fish. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Let me go to the map here. Okay, I'm looking this way. This is a marker for trophy white, so we know that they're caught there. Long nose gar, we know we're caught there. We're already getting a bite off of that. Now this is small minnows. Okay, this is this is a good fighting fish here. Yeah, it's a largemouth bass. You're going to get largemouth bass. Probably not off the leeches, but if you're going to be using small minnows, it's kind of a given that you were going to probably pick up a few, probably young smallmouth more than anything else. That hook is kind of small and you'll probably get the young ones. Now I'm going to try to get just beyond that pond weed. Hopefully I won't get a snag. I'd like to at least be able to get all my rods out. But basically my my attempt is this. I'm going to place out all my bottom rods in the white crappie location. I'm 
but I'm going to be fishing for the black crappie, which most often you find over here on this side of things. Let's see, I think we've got something here for sure. Let me just make sure, yep. Might not get much chance to do lure fishing. Trophy pumpkin seed. I think it's as big as they come here. Yeah, don't ignore the little fish. Little fish are, are important too. <laughs> Yeah, see, young largemouth bass. That's the probably the only reason. Now, if I catch another one like that, I might just go ahead and switch to the leeches because I know for certain that largemouth bass are less likely to bite on those. I'm not saying they won't, just less likely. And we're going to see if we can't get these black crappie to react. Now, this was supposed to be a partly cloudy day. Looks like it's cloudy. So I don't know how good we're going to do in the first place. Cloudy days have just never been that good for me for fishing. For this particular type of species. Ah, red ears. You know, I've been getting a lot more red ears on this side of things. You used to never get them here. You had to always go over to into the rocky blue. Ah, we got us a shad. Well, that now that's interesting. That's interesting. I have not caught them over here before. I have a spot. You guys have probably seen my video. I was one. Of, I was the first person to find where they were located, but I got that. Off of wax worms. Go figure that stuff out. That's pretty cool. American Shad, and I got part of that New Heron trial done. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of red ears here, which is really kind of interesting. See, that's a change. That is a major change. Never, never before. Well, I don't know exactly the last time I've been here for anything other than an event, but used to be you had to go to Into the Rocky Blue to get the red ears. That was all there was to it. And there seems to be more of a spread. That's good. It's more natural. They're not going to just be in one spot. But we are getting a lot of bites off of these. Another trophy white crappie. They're definitely here. It's just that am I going to be able to get a unique in the kind of cloudy day? Cloudy days are just not good for them. Now if this is another bass, I am going to switch. Yeah. Nothing against y'all's favorite fish for game fish but honestly it's not what we're after let's go with leeches for now actually let's go with crickets grasshoppers are good too again we might get more still might get bass but we're gonna give it a try here Whatever this is, it's tiny. Little white crappie. Now there's no shortage of action, guys. No shortage of action. Trophy white crappie. Looks like we're going to get a lot of those guys. This is off the crickets. Ugh. Yeah. Alright. 
fast just like those two daggone much too. Alright, we're going to go with this. We are going to put everything we have into getting these guys. Mostly for time saving purposes. I think we're going to do the same here. Leeches are just more effective. Okay, we're going to bring this in and we're going to... Okay, whatever this is, is fairly good size. Trophy way crappie. Yeah, that's definitely the spot, guys. It's just now at the at this point a matter of timing as to whether we're going to get us a unique. Without a doubt, they are going for the leeches, just as they always have. Ah, see, now not every one of them are going to be white. There's a black one. Caught over in the white crappie territory. Yeah, they have really changed a lot of this. Used to be they didn't mix. They were pretty much separate. So whatever it was, it triggered whatever the algorithm was. The white crappie were not with the black and the black were not with the white. They were separate and they were never shad here. They were never red ear here. See? There's another red ear. If I got a unique red ear out of here, I'd, it would blow my mind. Because that is not the, the main spot. <laughs> Without a doubt. I think what I might do... Oh, here's the snag. So I did have a snag. Alright. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's throw some leeches on here. Just like the white ones. The black ones... Love the leeches too. But I'm going to throw this one over here just to help my odds with get the black ones. Because I don't seem to be able to do any lure fishing here. <laughs> They're coming too quick and too fast. Another trophy. Yeah, this is not a big fellow. Another black one. Okay, we're going to throw this one right here. I really have not seen any distinction in biting times between the two species. It's not like the black bite more in the mornings, the white black more in the evenings. They seem to just there's another trophy. Follow the same pattern. Damn. Yeah, I'm not even sure if I'm going to get any lure fishing in here. Might as well just keep doing this for now. They're just biting too much right now off of these leeches. But I have plenty of them. I have leeches coming out my ears, which I really would not like if that was true, but but you can see the black crappie are more consistently being pulled out of this side. Now there's uh, although there's a marker for it, that is not 
necessarily you don't have to be like right on that spot in fact anywhere around those stick ups is usually good and it seems like they love those stick ups they just tend to hover in those areas up first. Another black. Okay, this this one's this one's big. If it's a crappie, it's a decent one. Yes! <laughs> there he is on a cloudy day, guys. On a cloudy day, we got him. We got him on a cloudy, stinking day. Awesome. There he is. There's our first unique white crappie. Let's take a look at this guy. All right. Now that is what we call a full pan fish, <laughs> without a doubt. Decent fish, decent fish. I'd be thrilled out of my mind to catch one that size. 3.185 pounds, yeah. That would make one hell of a sandwich. Alright, there's our unique white. We got the sucker. Well, let's see what's on this one. Yeah, I knew he was big, but been getting a lot of trophies over there. Well, let's see if we can't get these black ones. Maybe our luck's running well this time. And we can hit them kind of hard. <laughs> 